Pain on your Friday, Hannah Scholl is in the Bob Mills Weather Center. Hannah, it's been a busy week. Absolutely, it has. Yesterday, last night, um, was when the severe storms moved through. They produced 11 tornadoes. That's the preliminary count. This morning, we had the largest team of trackers of, in the country out and about. We had the video from Hank, Jeremy, Val, all got tornadoes. Jim, of course, in the sky as well. This one from Tuttle. You can see there in Bridge Creek. This is video from Hank. He actually got caught right under the tornado, and luckily, he is okay, but you can see the debris flying in his his shot as the tornado approaches. You can see the wind and how strong it is there. Um, and then this is in Ellick, just a lowering right there. I don't think that one actually produced a tornado, but people pulling over to make sure they don't get any closer to the storm. Here in Noble, this one overnight, or once the sun had finally set, you do see the uh, shots of the tornado with power flashes. And that is what we saw there. And then Cole, Oklahoma, not get hit in a break. They got hit again with another tornado, not as strong as the one in April. But unfortunately, people there are still cleaning up from less than a month ago getting hit by that tornado. And let's take a look now at Val's video as well. We had tons of video from last night. This one from Goldsby in black and white. You can see just a rope tornado coming down there. Very picturesque. You can see the lightning behind it as well this is may in oklahoma for sure and again the preliminary count from yesterday 11 tornadoes they don't look like they were quite as strong as the tornadoes from april but as the sun comes up we start to see the damage the nws is going to go out and start to survey the damage as well let's take a look at the amount of rain that we got across the state not huge rain producers but there were some bullseyes of over three inches down in uh, just southeast of Ada, that's central Oklahoma, or down in uh, Cole County there, and then just southwest of Lawton, over about one inch, close to an inch and a half. Here in the Oklahoma City metro, closer to about half an inch of rain from that, and that's where we actually got to see most of the severe weather in the south metro area. So currently, this is what we're dealing with. The rain continues off to the east, no longer severe at this point, has weakened quite a bit. If you hear thunder, you see lightning in the Shawnee area, don't worry. That is not a severe storm. It's continuing to move its way north and east and possibly spitting out some dimes and peas, but looks like it has weakened at this point, not really seeing anything on hail detector. Next Gen Live further to the southeast from Clayton down through Antlers. A lot of lightning in this cell as well. And we are seeing some small hail in that as well. Some dimes, possibly some peas as well. And then further north, this is all non-severe, not seeing any thunder or lightning in it to the east of Tulsa from Prior up to Benita, down through Muskogee and over towards the Stigler area. Uh, but as we continue through the next few days, we're going to continue with those rain chances, and we even have some chances for severe storms later today again. So starting at about 3 p.m., we start to see some of those storms developing in the Lawton area, riding up the H.E. Bailey and coming up through I-44 in the Tulsa area. Yet again, there looks to be a little bit of a break in the Oklahoma City metro area, so we only have about a 30% chance of seeing a severe storm today, and I'll show you that storm zone and break down the threats in just a moment. But this is what we're looking at once we hit 10 p.m. on Friday. All of that continues on its way eastward. And then we head um, on into Saturday. Saturday, we see continued rain and periods of rain through the day on Saturday and into very early on Sunday morning. I'll get that graphic fixed for you next time. But this is your storm zone up to baseball sized hail. I think the biggest threat with these storms is going to be the hail 65 to possibly 75 mile per hour winds. But there is a low tornado risk not looking like the rotation potential is there quite as much for the day tomorrow 73 degrees your current temperature it's warm it's a little bit on the windy side but today this afternoon we're going to be getting into the upper 80s some people getting into the middle 90s it's going to be a hot one with that chance for severe weather and then mother's day weekend looking like it's going to be pretty rainy don't go anywhere we got more news and weather for you coming up right after this